All right, everybody, thanks for coming back. This is Charles with Ham Radio Alaska. I'm going to do something fairly simple for this. Uh, I guess this is part three, but I'm actually going to do a, a series of these, just little bits here and there on how to program the RC210 repeater controller. So what I'm going to do is create a message macro that can be stored in any of these 70 messages. Then I'm going to call it in one of these other macros, one of the main macros. So I'm going to put that in here, and then I am going to schedule that macro to be called out of one of these timers that I can program to come on any time of the day, week, month, or year. So something pretty basic, but this will take you through the steps, and it'll show you how... Um, how easy it is actually to program this, but it, there's a learning curve. There's a, a lot of back and forth to be able to do and understand, but it, once you get it, it's, it's really not that bad. Okay, so let's start over here at the message, and I've got any of these 70. Uh, I'm just going to stay on my first page here and go to, well, let's just start with creating a message out of this vocabulary list. So all kinds of things you can do and again at the bottom of the vocabulary list if you if there's not enough words you can just choose to uh, upload your own WAV file with a message and play that okay so i have clicked into message macro number two and let's just make something up here hello i'm double clicking here pops in red if it's red, you need to apply it right there. Click apply, turns black, so it is accepted. But I'm going to click back in here and choose a few more vocabulary words to use. And let's do something fun. Above. Average. Let's see. Ham, radio, operator. Hello, above average ham radio operator. Uh, let's include everybody. So at the end of the vocabulary list, you have makes plural. Gives you a dash S, makes plural. Hello, above average ham radio operators. Click apply now we have a message macro in number two. So now we have to go find that message macro, paste that into here. Let's just do this at the bottom of the main macro number 10. So I click once in there, but I have to go find message macro two. And you see here at 187 is play message macro one. 188 is play message macro two. And I am, let's see, make sure I am in there. Double click on that. Or you can also just, you know, type this in manually and click apply. And there it is. But the system really doesn't know what to do with it. If you if you choose to play this message macro 2 in the main macro 10, it's got a place somewhere. So at the beginning, I think I've got this 162 here uh, for these other ones. 162 is play the speech out of port 1. Port 1 is my main repeater, and that's where I want it to go. So before I even do 188, I'm going to double click 162. Puts it right in, in uh, front there. And again, let me just hover. Hovering over it, you can see speech output port 1, play message macro 2. There you go. It's red, so you have to apply. And now you're set. That message will play out of port 1. Over here, DTMF code, you can set anything you want. Star 222, I guess that's good enough, but just to show you, you can change it, and it doesn't even have to be a star. You can do 777, let's call it what, whatever we want, click apply, 
So if I push the PTT on the microphone, press 777, it's going to cue the repeater to play 188 out of port 1. And again, 188 is play that message macro 2. Right over here. Hello, above average ham radio operators. So we could stop there, but I wanted to show you that under the scheduler, you can play that at some time of the day or night. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and put this under scheduler number five. I want it to play every day of every month. 12 a.m. sounds good. You can click this other start minute. Let's do let's do it 12.02 a.m. We can choose any one of those 105 macros to run. So I'm choosing 10. And I did change this one. This was already 10. Still have to apply. But again, this is the main macro 10 of the one I'm trying to call. This message macro is not being called by the scheduler. It's choosing the main macros. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then I still need to upload it to the repeater itself. This is just the software. I need to send that to the I need to send it to the controller by clicking upload. And if you can you can do the whole the whole shebang, the whole configuration that takes 3 4 5 minutes, but I'm just doing these little changes only. And it does it uh, does it real quick complete and let's test it out Hello, above average ham radio operator okay and there you go so that will play manually with the DTMF or this scheduler is going to play it every day of every month at 1202 a.m. And so anybody listening late at night will get a little bit of a treat. I'm not sure I'm going to keep that there, but it's kind of fun. And uh, just gives you an idea of what you can do with this. So very simple programming today. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to come up with a few more. If you guys have any questions or want to see something specific, let me know, and I will try and get that set up. All right, thanks for watching.